and I went in to take a look at Jake <laughs> he is not looking good he has a huge gash like in the top of his lip and he hit his head really bad and the nurse said he couldn't recall like the days of or what day of the week it was and just a few things you don't ever have to look too far you don't have to cover up your scars you're perfect darling just the way you are so before you think to rip yourself apart Open up my heart and you'll find love, 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 love. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Keep It Crazy family. So I'm officially calling today, get my crap together day. I feel like the last three weeks, sorry, my living room is like, I don't know, it is a mess, I need to be vacuumed. But I feel like the last three weeks I've been like in survival mode. I've been barely surviving. I've had a million things on my list but I've only done my necessities so things have backed up and I just I just feel like oh I don't know if any of you ever feel like that but you get so behind on all the little things that it ends up feeling like a big thing so as you can hear it is completely silent in my house Aurora's taking a nap right now I've never had it be this quiet in like months and months and I actually miss the loud <laughs> I know I wouldn't think that I would think I'd like oh but I don't, I actually love crazy, I love being busy, love getting stuff done, picking up as I'm talking to you guys. So the really cool thing is Maddie has her first haircut today. Max was a little sad that he's missing out on it, but I promised him that I would film everything. So the lady should be here any minute. We're gonna get her haircut done. I'm gonna try to get the house as clean as possible while the kids are at school and get all my little stuff like deep cleaning and just little things that have been put aside the last few weeks. I'm gonna get caught up today. So let's get my crap together day. Let's do this. Maddie, are you ready for a haircut? Yeah, is she here for you? Okay, come on, come on, come on, haircut time. Oh my gosh. All right, go get your haircut. Go get your haircut. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let me see the fur. I know. Maddie is so scared and won't go over, so I'm actually gonna walk her. Sorry, I'm putting the coat in the door, so I'm doing this. Um, over there to see if it makes her feel better. Come on, okay. Come on you don't have to be scared. You want me to take yeah. it? Come on. There you go. Oh, you're gonna pull me over. Wait. together I was getting so much stuff done and just when you think you're gonna get your crap together <laughs> <laughs> the school calls and says that Jake and another boy ran into each other it always scares me when the schools call I'm like oh no <laughs> I thought he got into a fight or something but he just they bumped into each other he fell and hit his head really bad he's bleeding the nurse is taking care of him but they want me to come take a look to see if I need to take him to the hospital or what we're doing so I'm headed out right now, and Erin and I will have to eat lunch another time together. Oh, <laughs> Love you. Love you. When I went in to take a look at Jake, he is not looking good. He has a huge gash like in the top of his lip, and he hit his head really bad, and the nurse said he couldn't recall like the days of, or what day of the week it was, and just a few things. So with head injuries, like I always wanna take him into the hospital, even though I don't wanna to go to the hospital, but I feel like he really needs it, and he may need some stitches in his lip, and I just want him to feel better. So I pulled up to my house real quick to have Aaron take a look at it, but go around to Jake's side. I think he may need stitches. So show dad your lip real quick. Just pull out that side. Uh, he needs stitches, huh? Yes. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and run him over to the hospital. Oh my gosh, are you okay? She said he had a hard time recalling like what day of the week it was and like he hit his head pretty bad. Is your head hurting? Is it a big old bump? Can I see your head real quick?
Close his eyes. Oh, close his eyes. Close his eyes. Oh, he's so cute. Help him step in so he doesn't get hurt. Oh, hi, honey. Hi. With your arms. Step up. Oh, honey, look. All right, open. Oh, oh, hi, honey. Hi. 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 She looks so skinny. <laughs> hi. Hey. Oh, she's in. You like her? Isaac, hush. She looks awesome. She did really good. That looks really good. What are you saying, huh? Yes, yeah, her beard is because now she drinks water. <laughs> Won't get all over the place, right? Poor Jay. You scared me. So we just got out of the hospital and he does have a concussion for sure. He was not answering questions correctly. He's having a hard time remembering things. He ended up having to get six stitches in his lip. They did do a CT scan and they said everything looks good. There's no like brain bleeds. So they feel really good about all of that. But how are you feeling? I'm feeling fine. My lip kind of hurts a little bit, but Aww. Eventually. I remember like playing football and stuff and then me running into a clip running into a kid and then like everything was just like blacked out and I couldn't remember anything else. He said next thing he remembered was waking up in the nurse's office. Aww. Are you having a hard time remembering things or are you okay? Um I'm I'm doing fine right now. But so he says he wants to go do what right now? Go to McDonald's. He wants to go get a Big Mac. <laughs> he said that'll help him feel better. Your lip is so swollen. Oh, you okay? Yeah. All right, let's go get some McDonald's. Okay. Are you feeling okay, Jake? Yeah. Were you able to eat your Big Mac? I haven't tried it yet. I no. Just ate my he said that you might be nauseous, so you don't have to eat it if you don't want to. I'll probably just wait. Just wait, yeah. Six stitches, huh? He had to get six stitches in that lip. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah. Your head working in? It's like that's the side with the hurts, so. Oh, sorry. Aww. Did he get owie? <sighs> Give him a hug. Yeah. <laughs> The doctor told me how to get it out. Really? So, nice. yeah, he said they have to do it all the time. I was like, oh, good to know. I'm so glad you're okay. Thank you. What'd you think of Maddie? Dude, she looks so good. I like it. And she looks different. She looks like a new dog. We're doing dinner tonight, but our chickens are going madhouse with these eggs. I love it. I just didn't anticipate getting so many. Well, kind of I did, kind of I didn't. I'd rather have more than less but now we have to eat it for like three meals a day and we're even gonna give some eggs to the crazy middles i'll drop them off on their front door or something and tell them that they're, that they're outside but so we're also gonna have some pork chorizo and eggs might make some burritos I don't know. so for those of you who don't know we actually got 20 chickens because i was like oh we need all these eggs well i didn't know that it would be this many eggs how many are we getting in a day max uh 11 to 12 right now so we're getting like a dozen eggs a day, and we love eggs in our family, but to go through that many is like crazy. So, yeah, but at least we don't have to buy eggs anymore. That's like, true. Yeah. That's very true, Remy. How many eggs are we doing for this dinner? Uh, or do you have an amount you're just cracking? We're just oh, cracking. Um. We think we're gonna do more, but for now, uh, Alex and Luke are at football practice. Ariana, Hannah, and Hallie are all at cheerleading practice. So a big portion of the family is gone, so we're not going all out. If they were here, we would probably be doing all the eggs that we have. Um, but yeah, we're there's doing, only a couple. We're doing 15 right now, so yeah. But we have a bunch more available. Yeah. Yeah, and Jake's phone went 
um, very much better. He's feeling better, huh? Let's go check on him. How are you feeling? Good. Are you feeling better? Yeah. You still seem out of it. What? <laughs> I said you still seem Mom. out of it. Mom. It's just my what? lip hurts. Ow. He got an owie, huh? My lip hurts. I can't like put my head on. So I don't know if you guys can see. Let's see if we can see. Turn this way. Oh yeah, you can see it. So see right here is where he hit his head really bad. <laughs> Okay. Your brother got his first football injury. That's See? not good because he just started. I know. It's ballet for all of you. Heck no more no. football. Heck no. <laughs> We're going to do a non contact sport. I'll be in soccer because I did it last year. You okay? Soccer's a good one. And I didn't get her at all. Yep. So I don't know if you guys can see, but he got six stitches right there. <sighs> Hopefully, I'm going to be able to play football. They said you have like two weeks before you can really play. I'm sorry, buddy. Well, that's kind of enough time until like we actually play. Yeah, so they don't actually start their season till September 8th, so thankfully this didn't happen in a couple weeks later Dude, or you wouldn't be playing. That looks so weird. And you just have a really big lips. Looks like you got <laughs> lip filler. Should I join you? <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, you. Oh, sorry. I keep wanting to hug him and he keeps like, ah! And I'm like, okay. We'll just do this like. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm gonna interrupt the vlog for a minute because I have something exciting to share with you guys. So when you guys create fan art and send it to us, I'm gonna start filling up this wall. First one is up in the corner. So yeah, make your fan art. And it'll, I'm gonna make this wall look really cool and actually it's gonna be you guys because you guys are gonna be the ones designing it. But I can't wait to see what you guys send. Send it to our PO box 2562 and follow me on Instagram for updates. So I know at the beginning of this vlog I said I'm gonna get my crap together but I, unfortunately I spent most of the day at the hospital and that just wasn't the case. But I know we all have these days where we expect so much of ourselves and then we're just not physically or mentally able to do it. And I think we need to give ourselves a break. I think it's okay to have these kind of days. And it was far more important to me to take care of Jake today and make sure that he was okay. I hate when my kids get hurt and I just get so worried about them. And that obviously takes precedence over a clean house or over anything else. So someday <laughs> I will get my stuff together and in the meantime I feel like as long as we're doing our best every day that that is good enough. So give yourself a break if you're not or if you're holding yourself to a certain standard and not able to meet it, know that you are enough.